Hi guys, so it's Glam by Kiki here and today I'm coming to you with this makeup tutorial right here on this look that I got inspired from Rihanna. It's a full look, nice deep lips and warm natural chocolatey brown eyes and lashes and the whole night. So this is the look, this is the picture that I'm using as a reference to create this look right here. So, if you want to stay tuned in learning how to create this look that I just did, just keep on watching. So, i see you later. Bye! So, I already have my eyelids primed and um, my base on. And I'm starting with my Warm Neutral MAC palette. And the first color I'm going in with is Saddle from in here. And I'm taking any fluffy brush I have to put it in my crease because it's going to be the first transition color. And I'm taking my Bedellium Tools 785 brush. And I'm taking this all in my crease. This is my transition color. So I'm using circular motions. Since this is a Rihanna... Um, look that I'm going for and she has a whole bunch of warm neutrals and chocolate browns in her eye look which is good for fall is a fall to, um, look that I'm going for and let me pull up the picture that I'm using as a reference this one so that's the one I'm going for so you want to put this in your crease and make sure it's all blended out nicely this is just going to prepare uh, for your rest of your colors to blend out smoothly and I already have my foundation and concealer eyebrows done So the next color that I'm going into is, I believe is dark, dark brew, this one right here, and I'm taking the same blending brush I used for the first transition color, and I'm taking that right below my crease, right under, just to deepen it. So prepare for the darker color that I'm going to use. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead with my Morphe brush. Um, it doesn't have a number. It came in the...
use my e.l.f. volume, volume pump, plumping mascara. There, this is totally optional. You can definitely stop here and just put on mascara and call it a day. But I love lashes, so I'm gonna use my favorite lashes, Starlet from House of Lashes. So I will be putting these on. and you want to make sure that they're nice and not thick well you can use them however you like you can have them nice and fluffy and thick or you can have them very wispy and thin lightweight depending on your preference on lashes so this is one And if you would like a tutorial on how to apply lashes, just let me know in the comments down below because I'll be more than happy to show you how to apply lashes. And um, you want to make sure for lashes, you want to pinch your lashes with them so they can blend into one instead of seeing like the fake lashes and then your lashes right on there because that's not a cute look i know i've been there before so that's why oh sorry honey okay so we can start on the our bottom eye area it doesn't really show her bottom eye area but i'm just gonna wing it so I'm pretty sure it's um at least with black eyeliner and whatnot. Black eyeliner is a little smoked out on the bottom, so I'm gonna take my MAC 212 um brush. It looks like this. And I'ma take Dance in the Dark. Oh, I like dark room and put it on my lower lash line this one right here just to smoke it out a bit and we'll start from outer corner and it could be minimal of eyeshadow that you want to apply down here Make sure it's really tight to your lash line. You don't want it under your eyeball baggage. All right, you just place it here. All right, and then if you want, you can blend it out a little bit with no product added to the brush. Just blend it out. If you want to add black in your waterline, you can go ahead, use an eye coal, use any black eyeliner that you have. And I'm using my Smashbox one. Um, I use it so much that I don't, oh no, I lied, it's not Smashbox. It's the NYX eye coal in black. 
and you just place that on your waterline. Water your water rim, rim of your waterline. And you want to place that all on your waterline. Of course, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, repeat myself. Um, just place it there. Rihanna always has black eyeliner when she does a very like dramatic look in her water in her waterline because it makes her eyes her eye color pop even more. She has beautiful eye color. And now what what we're gonna do now is coat our lashes off from the bottom. And I'm using my Elf Volume Plumping Mascara. I'm going to take that down. that you don't have to put so much um mascara on your bottom lashes since it's already gonna be um smoked out a little bit with the colors that you placed on your lash your bottom lash line and if you want from the roots of your mascara i mean of your um lashes on the top you can just push up a little bit just to make the falsies and your real lashes mesh and become one okay so i already warmed up my face i'm gonna put i'm gonna apply some blush and i didn't see that she had any highlight but i cannot stay away from the highlight at least from the cheek area so i'm gonna apply some of that and my lipstick and um let's get to it so she's wearing she's not really contoured or anything she's more warm not specifically cut you know so we can go with a little bit of a bronzer that doesn't that doesn't have any shimmer and I'm taking blunt from MAC and I'm just gonna place that right here I'm gonna push it into my apples of my cheeks and blend it back just to warm up the face a little bit more and I'm using an angled brush as a Sephora brush I don't know if they still sell it Okay, now for the highlight. I use my Milani eye baked eyeshadow, and it's this gold bronze um, type of eyeshadow. And I don't know the name of it. I got it a few years ago, and I never used it until now. But this is my current highlight that I use, and I'm taking my fan brush, any fan brush that you have. Um, this one is BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just dust some of that on the, my cheekbones. And I'm just dust it on right here. Just dust on a little bit. And a little on the nose. And I'm gonna take some on the Cupid's bow. And my other highlight that I like using, which is an eyeshadow, I like using Honey Lust from my um, MAC palette. And then I just dip it in a few times. And I just pop it on the high points of my cheeks. And do it on both sides. On my nose. 
and that's it for the cheeks the highlighted area and the bronze now let's go to our lips so um i blocked out my lips with some foundation and powder just so because i'm going in with a deep color so i'm going in with um color pop cosmetics lax and it looks like this Okay, so this is the completed Rihanna full makeup look that I fell in love with when I saw the picture. So, if you have any questions on this look or anything specific that I use that you would like to see um, tutorials or reviews on my next video, you can leave it on the comments down below and I will get to you. And I hope you had fun with me creating this look. Because I had but loads of fun. And yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. And I will love you forever if you do. But yeah, so it's coming to an end. I have to go and wash this makeup off my face because I am going to sleep. So yeah, bye.